Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another book video today. I Anyway, as I was saying, I have another book video today. I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite fake dating trope books. And I feel like I mentioned all of these books in my like last videos because that's all that I kind of read. So I love fake dating trope, but I love it even more when it's enemies to lovers and they have to like just be forced to love each other for their own convenience. Okay, so if these are like your favorite kind of books to read, then keep on watching because I have some really good five star recs. So let's get into it. I'm going to start off with one of my favorite, all time favorite books. The Spanish Love Deception. This was my first fake dating book that I read and I instantly loved it so much. It's also Enemies to Lovers, which it sort of kind of is, but like sort of kind of not. And it was definitely a five star read for me. I loved it so much. A lot of people just like didn't like the writing of it. I just thought it was pretty funny and I really enjoyed it. And if you're into like that rom-com, silly, grumpy ex sunshine, this is the one basically this book is about a girl she does not have a date to her sister's wedding and if she shows up alone they're going to talk about her literally i felt that in my soul she works with this guy and he is like this grumpy man like he does not like anyone he doesn't even like like her or so she thinks and she hates him as well because of some thing that happened like when they first started working together and so he randomly agreed to be her date to go to spain so like he agrees to go with her and she's like you're not just agreeing to go on, on a date with me you're basically going to be pretending that you're my boyfriend and we're happily in love and all of that stuff and he was like okay it's such a slow burn it was driving me crazy but the second they like get on with the fake dating that's when the book picks up and that's when the tension and the romance begins but before all of that there's lots of tension lots of cute scenes in here that the main character just didn't think was cute but i thought it was like adorable but five star read highly recommended you won't stop laughing okay next i'm gonna talk about my current favorite book i just finished this book it is called terms and condition by lauren asher well, lauren asher is one of my favorite authors and this is the second book in the the dreamland billionaire series so the fine print was the first book this is the second book and can i just say that this book is so much better than the first book so much better like five stars for this one i love the first one but this one just has a special place in my heart actually it's three books and it's about each brother it's about like their inheritance from their grandpa and so they have a goal they have to reach before they actually get their inheritance so this one is about the older brother he has to get married and have kids in order to have his inheritance and he's obviously this grumpy old man and he like does not love anyone he doesn't love anything his assistant her name is iris love her i love her vibe i love her personality i just i just couldn't get enough of her but she basically tries to find girls to marry this man and have his kid so he can get his millions of dollars and so when that doesn't work out she was like i'm single i'm gonna do it at first i didn't understand why someone would do that just like jump in to marry their boss it just like confused me for a second like why would she do that like she's not that kind of person but she did it because she tried so hard to like find him a wife and i'm like why are you trying so hard but anyways i'm glad she did because i just love the relationship between these two he just hates everything but he has such a soft spot for her it's like the cutest thing ever oh my gosh so at first no one like believed that they're actually in love and like married and so they have to like go on these fake dates in front of like reporters and like their family to like actually prove that they it's a legitimate marriage and it's so funny five stars anything by lauren asher is five stars read this book if you want a good laugh honestly you will not regret it it's 
it's amazing but you have to read the first book first so do that first and then read this one because you're there's spoilers in this one about the first book so yeah okay so next we have the dating plan and i love this book so much because the main character is a brown girl i've never read a book where the main character is a brown girl and i'm just like i relate so much to her like so much to her and honestly i feel like this book is my life in a book the book is about this girl she's like not dating she has like no desire to date like guys are like not even on her list right now she's just so like just doing her like just living her best life and i love that for her her entire family wants her to like settle down get married and you know like just do something with your life i feel like it's like a brown people thing like they you, you no basically her family is like pressuring her and they're like super nosy she finally like is reunited with her brother's best friend that she's had a crush on like when they were kids so this book is kind of similar to terms and conditions now that i think about it because liam has to get married in order to get his inheritance or something like that and he doesn't want to choose just anyone he wants it to be someone that will understand and like not like rip him off and so the first person that came to mind was daisy and they hate each other by the way like this is like she hates him for something he did like years ago and so she's like holding this grudge all this time he asked her and she was like no but then her like aunties are like setting her up with like these random guys and so she's just like had enough of it so she was like okay if i say yes that i'm that i'm going to marry you maybe the aunties will lay off on me with these like arrange marriages and so it's kind of convenient because they're helping each other out they have to prove themselves that they're actually in love and stuff like that they plan like little dates and stuff like that so people can actually see that they're a couple and the dates are so funny because she would plan things that he can't handle just to like get a ruse out of him and i thought it was like the funniest thing ever it's a five star read for me highly recommended if you want a good laugh okay next book that i'm going to be talking about is the unhoneymooners which is one of my favorite favorite books of all time so hilarious basically this book is about the girl's sister got married and can go on her honeymoon because something happened and so she's like you have to go on this honeymoon it's already paid for it's non-refundable da, 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 da. so she has to pretend to be her sister on this honeymoon and she has to take someone because there's like two tickets so she takes her sister's husband's brother so her brother-in-law's brother which also makes him her brother-in-law as well she hates him they have to go on this honeymoon together and pretend to be in love and i think it's the funniest thing ever i just realized that most of these books are like enemies to lovers with fake dating okay so the next book i have is the x talk and this is like a reverse fake dating book which i thought was like really cool now that i think about it um it's not really like fake dating at all but this book is basically about a guy and a girl, they work together and have to come up with this huge lie that they've dated in the past and now they're exes and they have to do a talk show based on exes. And so they've never dated, they've never had any sort of relationship, but they pretended it and they have to make up like these crazy stories, how they met, when was their first date like the audience ask them questions and stuff like that and it's so funny when they try to come up with stories to describe like their relationship that they had so like get views on their talk show and it's actually pretty hilarious no one like talks about this book i don't think i've ever seen anyone like talk about it at all but i think this book deserves a little bit more recognition there was like a lot of issues like real life issues that were discussed in this book that i thought was like oh wow i did not expect like that to be discussed in a funny rom-com like this but i just think that it was like enlightening to just read something that was like whoa where did that come from but i liked it i really did like it and i highly recommend this book like 
I tell people to read this book all the time because it was so good. I just think the author did such an amazing job on this book and I can't wait to read more of her books. The next book I have is The Love Hypothesis. I feel like every time I talk about this book, I just get so happy because this book is like all smileys and just like they have to pretend that they're dating. I don't know how that's legal, but I just... I couldn't like understand how like a PhD candidate can date a professor like that's that's a thing how this fake dating like comes into picture in this book is actually really funny because Olive that's her name right I read this book like so long ago Olive's best friend is into one of Olive's ex and Olive is like okay like I really don't care like go ahead and date him which which is an issue because why would a best friend even suggest that and so her best friend doesn't believe her well obviously if you don't believe her then why are you still like sneaking around with her ex anyway but basically she has to pretend that she's seeing someone and so she kisses the first guy she sees in the hallway to prove to her best friend that oh yeah i'm over this man and so she kisses the professor and then she explained to him like why she did what she did and so fake dating each other kind of benefits both of them because he has issues and she has issues and the only way to solve those issues is by fake dating and getting starbucks and pumpkin spice and this is why i love this book so much and i read this book in the fall so it was like super super perfect that's all i drink in the fall is pumpkin spice so i was drinking pumpkin spice while reading this book it's a five star read read it it's so funny i love olive she's such a vibe and it's Grumpy X Sunshine, Enemies to Lovers, Fake Dating. What more could you want? Okay, so the next book that I'm going to be talking about is from the Off Campus series. I don't feel like taking them down on my shelf because it is going to collapse. The whole thing is going to collapse. So the first book is the very first book in the series, which is called The Deal. So it's basically about the most popular hockey player guy. He failed his test and he needs a tutor. It's pretty much like bribing the smartest girl in his class to tutor him. And she has a crush on a football player. And obviously she's like a nobody. She needs like a reputation to like get this guy's attention. And so he was like, well, if you tutor me, we can pretend we're dating and get your name out there and then maybe he can like notice you and so that was like the deal they made but oh my gosh you guys it's such an amazing book that entire series is five stars highly recommend and then there's the off-campus series and then there's the briar you series so it's like a spin-off series you do see some of like the main characters in the other in the original series in the series as well um but basically this series is like after the off-campus series so i would highly recommend reading the off-campus first and then the briar you so my favorite 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 book in the briar series is the risk i talk about the risk like all the time basically this is also enemies to lovers so he is a hockey player for harvard and then Brenna, she goes to Briar U. She's the hockey player's coach's daughter. And so she obviously loves hockey and she like keeps up with it. And every time they have to compete with um Harvard, she's she's always seeing him and like she thinks he's like super good looking, but like he's the enemy. She can be like fraternizing with the enemy because like traitor much. The two of them, they have to fake date so that Brenna can get this job basically. He's like s totally okay with it because he is like, he's obsessed with her in a, in a way. He like likes her, he wants to get to know her. So every time they go on a fake date, she has to go on a real date with him. It's so cute actually. This entire series just like lifted my standards. The Addicted series is one of my favorite series as well. The first book is definitely fake dating. It's about two best friends. Um, they live together and they're pretending to be in a relationship so that they can hide their addictions from their friends and family. I still haven't finished the series yet, but I did buy the rest of the books, so maybe that'll motivate me to finish the series. Yeah. Okay, and I did wanted to mention The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. There is, like, s just a little bit of fake dating in this book. They don't, like, fall for each other. 
like the rest of my books do. I feel like the fake dating was just like 20% of like what this book is about. Each husband represents something in her life. There's a reason why she married each guy and so they talk about that and then also some of them fake dated just to get her name out there so I think that's like that's why I'm adding this book in this video but um if you're gonna read this for romance of those fake dating don't because it doesn't happen but i think but this book is just this book is amazing and it is one of my favorite romance book and it's such a touching book love the way this was written and i highly recommend this book I feel like everyone should read this book this is the it girl of books if that makes sense if i were to describe it this is the it girl in all my books there we go okay so i think that concludes my book rec hopefully you read some of these books as well and love them as much as i do really hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like and subscribe if you did and i'll see you guys very soon bye